Difference between MTBF, MTTR, and MTTF. Welcome to our video. Today, we're going to demystify three key metrics in the world of systems reliability, MTBF, MTTR, and MTTF. These terms might sound technical, but they're truly fundamental in understanding how well your systems are performing. MTBF, or mean time between failures, is a common measure of how reliable a product or system is. Mean time between failures, MTBF, is the average time between system breakdowns. It's calculated by adding up the total operational time of a system and dividing it by the number of failures. Essentially, it's a prediction of time between the inherent failures of a system during operation. MTBF is total uptime divided by number of breakdowns. Take for example a mechanical mixer designed to operate for 12 hours per day. Suppose the mixer breaks down after normally operating for 5 days. The MTBF for this case is 60 hours. It is important to note that MTBF is applicable only to reparable items. Think of MTBF as your system's health checkup. A higher MTBF indicates a longer time between failures, which generally means a more robust and reliable system. Increasing the MTBF increases the uptime of equipment. Keeping track of the MTBF for each piece of equipment, especially those that require continuous operation, allows the maintenance team to efficiently schedule maintenance activities. Next, we have MTTR, or mean time to repair. This is the average time it takes to fix a failed component or system. It involves the time from when an issue is first identified, through diagnosis, repair, testing, and finally, return to normal operation. MTTR is total unplanned maintenance time divided by total number of repairs. If you have a machine that fails four times in one workday and you spend an hour repairing each of those instances of failure, your MTTR would be 15 minutes, 60 minutes divided by 4 equal to 15 minutes. This metric is most useful when tracking how quickly maintenance staff is able to repair an issue. It's important to remember the MTTR calculation considers the period of time between the beginning of the incident to the time the equipment or system returns to production. The MTTR formula does not take into account lead time for spare parts and is not meant to be used for planned maintenance tasks or shutdowns. A low MTTR is always desirable. It means a quick recovery, less downtime, and thus, less impact on your operations. To keep MTTR low, you need efficient processes, skilled personnel, and perhaps, a good stash of spare parts. Even though MTTR is considered reactive maintenance, tracking MTTR gives you a look into how effective and efficient your preventive maintenance program and tasks are. For example, equipment with a lengthy repair time might have underlying root causes that contribute to the failure. MTTR can help you start investigating the root cause of failures and get you on your way to a solution. Now, let's move on to MTTF, or mean time to failure. This is similar to MTBF, but it's used for non-reparable systems. Essentially, it's the average time a product or system will function before it fails. Just like MTBF, a higher MTTF indicates a more reliable system. MTTF is particularly important in the design and testing phases of a product. It helps engineers understand how long a product might last under normal conditions, informing design changes, material choices, and more. The interplay between MTBF, MTTR, and MTTF can greatly affect your system's overall reliability and efficiency. By tracking these metrics, you can get a clear picture of where improvements are needed, whether it's in design, maintenance, or problem solving. But remember, these are just statistical averages. They offer a useful benchmark, but they don't replace real-time monitoring and maintenance. Your systems are unique and will have their own quirks and characteristics, so it's important to understand and monitor them individually. So, that's a wrap on MTBF, MTTR, and MTTF. 
Three acronyms that might sound complicated but are essential for ensuring your systems are reliable and efficient. By understanding these metrics, you are better equipped to manage, maintain, and improve your systems. As always, thanks for watching. Keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, every system is a puzzle waiting to be solved. Until next time.